Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Custom Functions, and in this video we're going to continue from where we left off in our previous lecture, which was Intro to PHP Functions, where we learned a little bit about the built-in PHP functions, and now we're going to learn how to actually create our own custom PHP functions. Pretty cool. See you in there. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 24 custom functions. In your code editor, make sure to open the final and practice.php files in your 24 custom functions folder. Practice.php is the file we're going to use to create what is in final.php. Final.php looks a little bit something like this. Final example, we have some text here that says surfs up, grab your board, and we're using a PHP custom function to give us that text. And I'll reveal how to do that after we cover our lecture. So let's jump right in. While PHP has a massive library of built-in functions you have at your disposal, sometimes you just need to build your own functions for both small and large tasks. Think of a custom function as a mini program that performs an action for you. Better yet, think of a custom function as a cute little robot that does a specific task you tell it to do. So let's look at the basic syntax of a custom function. So in our PHP script, you need to type the word function and then name your function using however you want, whatever you want to name it. Keep in mind that this can be whatever words you want them to be, but there are no spaces allowed. I like using camel case, as you can see here, the capital C and capital F, lowercase first word here, uh, just because it's easier to read and it's a pretty common programming convention. Uh, after that, you put your opening and closing parentheses in case you want to send an argument through that function, which I'll cover in the next lecture. And then you have your opening and closing curly brackets or curly braces, as some call it. And in between those curly brackets is where you define what your function will perform. So there are two important things to know about functions. There are functions that require arguments as I just mentioned, and there are functions that don't require arguments. So let's start by building a custom function that does not require an argument. So here we have our PHP script. Let's start by building a function. So I'm going to uh, type the word function here, and then I'm going to call this function hang10. In the curly brackets, I'm echoing the text surfs up, grab your board. After the closing curly bracket, I'm calling the function by typing the function name, followed by its opening and closing curly, uh, sorry, opening and closing parentheses, and then a semicolon. Note that you can call the function essentially anywhere in your page. It doesn't have to be directly after it, because usually what you do is you build your function or a list of functions, say in a separate PHP file, and you include that file in a specific page. And when you need a specific function, all you need to do is just call the function by just typing the function's name. So it keeps your page really clean, and it's, you can use and recycle that function over and over and over again all throughout your site and throughout your program because you have your function pre-built somewhere else, whether it's at the top of your page or whether it's in a separate script altogether. And then you can just call the function. It's really simple. So why don't we jump into our code editor and build our own custom function. All right, here we are in practice.php. Make sure to change the my name variable to your name so it reflects your name properly. You don't have to. If you want to keep my name, that's cool. And let's just jump down in our sandbox in between our PHP script. Let's start by writing the word function. And let's call this function hang10. Parentheses opening and closing, and then your opening and closing curly brackets. Inside there, let's just echo a simple string of text. Surfs up. Grab your board. All right, so instead of just me calling the function like this, which I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the practice of PHP page, and you could see the text is here. Surfs up, grab your board. But there isn't really much use in me just writing out a function and then calling the function like this because I could have just typed the text out and skipped the function altogether. So how would we actually use this custom function that it makes sense? Well, here, let me give you a, let's, let's try like a little simple example of 
how this could be used. So let's create a variable. Let's call it surf is up. And let's set that to true. So the variable surf is up is equal to true. Now let's use our nifty if statement. If surf is up, so if the surf is up, true, then we're going to hang 10. Pretty cool. And then after that, else, let's remove this last hang 10 function call, echo, bummer, brah. So here we got our function up here. I could have included this function, say if I used the PHP include up here and I said include uh, functions.php and I had my function, my hang10 function in that separate file, it'd be the same as if it was right here, just keeps it clean. And after that, I have a variable, just checking to see if surf is up. If it's true, then uh, we're gonna use our if statement to test to see if surf is up. If it is, then we're gonna hang 10 else we're going to echo bummer bra so basically you know this variable could be dynamic if you had a script built where you were checking to see if the surf was up and the variable could change from true to false and then based on our if statement and what the value is of surf is up you'd get a different result so let's say surf is up was actually false let's check it out bummer bra but if it's true Check it out. Surf's up. Grab your board. So there it is. That's just a really simple example of a custom PHP function. You could literally do anything inside your custom function. I'm just doing a simple echo text, but you could do if statements. You could do math. You could do literally anything. The sky's the limit. And you can make your functions really incredible. And one thing of making your custom functions a bit more powerful is using arguments. And that's what we're going to touch on in the next lecture. So I'll see you there.